on www.youtube.com slash Zion Worship Altar and on Facebook www.facebook.com slash Zion Worship Altar UG Hit the like button and follow us Zion Worship Altar The Heart of Worship Praise the Lord, everyone. You are most welcome to today's Sunday session. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be wonderful. The Lord has prepared a lot for us. Be expectant of what is coming. Expect a lot of praise, worship, and the word. It is going to be superb in the house of the Lord. You are welcome. You are most welcome. <laughs> Hallelujah, oh mon amour, wali mo kabi yesu ye yamponya. Nenge danga tenderesa, oh mon amour, wali mo kabi yesu ye yamponya. Oh mon amour, wali mo kabi yesu namponya, yesu namponya. Uh huh. Wanti. Nenge danga tenderesa. Come on. Siri na tirara wabula tendereza Tendereza Hallelujah Siri na tirara wabula tendereza Jenge danga tendereza imba Siri na tirara Siri na tirara wabula tendereza Nobody want like to my nidisa to tender your soul Hallelujah Siri na tirara Siri na tirara Watch it, 
The word has shown that he is the mighty. Father, we come in your presence to exalt you. Today. We come to give you praises. You are good father. You are loving father. Father, we give you glory. Father, we give you praises. You are a living God. You are above every situation. You are above every situation. You are above every situation. Father, we give you the glory. Father, we give you the glory. Father, we give you the glory. You're worthy to be lifted. You're worthy to be praised. You're worthy to be lifted. You're worthy to be praised. Father, we worship you. We as the sun worship altar. We decide to give you praise. Praises. We as the sun worship altar. We decide to give you glory. Oh, sunny day, 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 oh, it's in no angel, you know. You must say, me call no jangle. Eli Kato na wange. Hey, a car a sunny day. It's in no angel, you know. You must so muti maguange. Eli Kato na wange. Oh, 
Let's clap for the ministers. They are looking smart. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Turn to your neighbor and walk come someone next to you. Tell him all how you woke up at the Zan worship altar. Tell him all how you woke up at Zan worship altar. The, worship, the heart of worship. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to welcome our online family to all those ones who are watching us live. We really want to welcome you and may the Lord bless you. And to those who always come at the zone ground every Sunday we really appreciate. We are humbled to stand before you saints of God and may the good Lord bless you. Amen. Amen. So you're welcome into this new Sunday. We thank the Lord that since last Sunday Sunday we day. Till this Sunday, he has done great and mighty things. We really want to bless God for that. And so, if anyone of you has got a testimony, you're welcome. I take this opportunity to come like two people to come and testify for the Lord. Amen. Let's clap for her as she's coming. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I send my greetings all of you in the name of Jesus. I thank the holies of this place. I, I maybe whenever you pray, the prayer stand remains on my house. From this year began, from January, from January, I'm getting miracles. Okuva mu January okutu kuruwa ilo mwezo goku namba denga afunebi amagero. I may not repeat the rest. On Wednesday, there is a friend of mine called me that who, the one who, who wants you, where could he find you? And I'm going to find me at Center. She gave him and she told me. That there is a certain property he bought. I thank God who, who overlooked my weakness. Never Zakatondo, you are to know Lido, you are not for Wang. And made praise the Lord saints. I want to thank the Lord. I love her and may God bless you. Thank you, thank you so much. And we give God the glory for all the testimonies. I believe it's going to give you more. To all givers, you bless them. And to all those who have not managed to carry something, Father, bless them too. So that next Sunday, they come into your presence with something. In Jesus' name we've prayed and believed. Amen. Amen. Okay, you walk majestically, you come and give in the house of the Lord.
Facebook www.facebook.com slash Zion Worship Altar UG. Hit the like button and follow us. Zion Worship Altar, the heart of worship. Welcome to the Zion Worship Altar, a life transforming ministry impacting generations with the gospel of hope through worship by the Holy Spirit. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash Zion Worship Altar and on Facebook www.facebook.com slash Zion Worship Altar UG. Hit the like button and follow us. Zion Worship Altar, the heart of worship. Welcome to the Zion Worship Altar, a life transforming ministry impacting generations with the gospel of hope through worship by the Holy Spirit. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash Zion Worship Altar and on Facebook www.facebook.com slash Zion Worship Altar UG. Hit the like button and follow us. Zion Worship Altar, the heart of worship. Welcome to the Zion Worship Altar, a life transforming ministry impacting generations with the gospel of hope through worship by the Holy Spirit. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash Zion Worship Altar and on Facebook www.facebook.com slash Zion Worship Altar UG. Hit the like button and follow us. Zion Worship Altar, the heart of worship. Welcome to the Zion Worship Altar, a life transforming ministry impacting generations with the gospel of hope through worship by the Holy Spirit. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash Zion Worship Altar and on Facebook www.facebook.com slash Zion Worship Altar UG. Hit the like button and follow us. Zion Worship Altar, the heart of worship. Welcome to the Zion Worship Altar, a life transforming ministry impacting generations with the gospel of hope through worship by the Holy Spirit. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash Zion Worship Altar and on Facebook www.facebook.com slash Zion Worship Altar UG. Hit the like button and follow us. Zion Worship Altar, the heart of worship. Welcome to the Zion Worship Altar, a life transforming ministry impacting generations with the gospel of hope through worship by the Holy Spirit. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash Zion Worship Altar and on Facebook www.facebook.com slash Zion Worship Altar UG. Hit the like button and follow us. Zion Worship Altar, the heart of worship. Welcome to the Zion Worship Altar, a life transforming ministry impacting generations with the gospel of hope through worship by the Holy Spirit. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash Zion Worship Altar and on Facebook www.facebook.com slash Zion Worship Altar UG. Hit the like button and follow us. Zion Worship Altar, the heart of worship. Welcome to the Zion Worship Altar, a life transforming ministry impacting generations with the gospel of hope through worship by the Holy Spirit. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash Zion Worship Altar and on Facebook www.facebook.com slash Zion Worship Altar UG. Hit the like button and follow us. Zion Worship Altar, the heart of worship. Welcome to the Zion Worship Altar, a life transforming ministry impacting generations with the gospel of hope. Oh, oh. 
Welcome to the Zion Worship Altar, a life-transforming ministry impacting generations with the gospel of hope through worship by the Holy Spirit. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash Zion Worship Altar and on Facebook www.facebook.com slash Zion Worship Altar UG. Hit the like button and follow us. Zion Worship Altar, the heart of worship. Praise the Lord everyone, you are most welcome to today's Sunday session. It's going to be amazing, it's going to be wonderful. The Lord has prepared a lot for us. Be expectant of what is coming. Expect a lot of praise, worship and the word. It is going to be superb in the house of the Lord. You are welcome. You are most welcome. <laughs> Somebody raise your hands to the Lord. Voices as we sing. Oh, sins he went. Yes, oh, sins he went. Only the keys, only the keys. Yes, oh, sins he went.
ones of worship to the Lord. Father, we exalt you. Oh, Jesus. Father, we are before you tonight not to worship anybody else and not to exalt anything else but to exalt you. Somebody pour out your heart to the Lord. Somebody take this as your time to exalt the King of Kings, to exalt the Lord of Lords. Take this to be your moment. Somebody is receiving their miracle. Somebody you are receiving a miracle. Somebody the Lord is touching you now. Dear God, dear Father, we come before you this evening. May you receive our worship. May your heavens receive our worship. May you receive our worship. May you receive our worship. May your spirit, oh God, come and take control. Come and take charge. Come and take charge. Somebody, the spirit of the Lord is already in this place. I tell you, the presence is already here. The presence of the Lord is already here. It is up to you to receive the spirit. It, I said it is up to you to receive the presence. The presence of the Lord comes with miracles. The presence comes with miracles. The presence comes with healing. Oh, 
Father, we give you praise. Come and take control over this service. Come and reign amid the stars. 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 We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Somebody go ahead. Go ahead. I feel there's a special presence in this place. I feel there's a special grace in this place. Somebody you've come when something is tormenting you. And tonight is your night. I say today is your day. What do you want to have a cool online? There is something that has been disturbing you. I tell you tonight is your night. Somebody you're hearing us somewhere. You're hearing us on the on the, the speakers. The Lord is touching you wherever you are. It might be sickness. It might be some illness. Our God that we are worshiping tonight, I say it is touching you. Somebody take this one minute and speak to the Lord as the Lord is telling you. As the Spirit is directing you. Yes. Father, we give you praise. We give you glory. And we exalt you. Oh, Lord, my God. Then all the awesome one consider all and me. Somebody, I want you to be in the presence. Lower the key. Somebody, I want you to be set in the presence. I say there are miracles that are happening right now. I say somebody is receiving a miracle tonight. And in this worship, as you worship the Lord, in this worship, as you exalt the Lord, somebody is receiving something special. Oh Lord my God, when I know some wonder, consider all thy hands of me. I see the sun, I hear the rolling path round. The universe display. Let us sing one more time. Oh Lord, my God. Oh, some wonder. Consider all the walls, the hands of me. I see the sky. I hear the rolling thunder, thy power drown, the universe is free. Let us sing 
one more time. Oh Lord, my somebody God. raise your hands to the Lord. to clap, give a mighty hand of praise to the Lord. Somebody give a mighty hand of praise to the Lord. Somebody praise and give a mighty hand of praise to the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Somebody say some words of thank you to the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, ministers of God. May the Lord mightly bless you. Somebody clap for the ministers. 
Please clap for them. Clap for them. Clap for them. You, I said you can do better than that. And thank you, the instrumentalists who are here. May God bless you. Amen. You know, when we're going to worship, I want you to know this. Every time you're worshiping, the Bible says that he seeketh for those that worship him in truth and spirit. Praise the Lord. And the Bible also says that time has come Praise the Lord. Where those who people will worship him. <laughs> Hallelujah. So the time is not tomorrow. The time is not next year. The time is now. I don't know whether you understand what I'm saying. In John 4.23, the Bible says clearly, but the, the hour is coming. And this is what the Bible says, that a now is, which means, as the Bible says the time is, the hour is coming, it does not mean that next year, the next hour, or the next minute, because the Bible goes on to say that and now is, when the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. For the Father is seeking such to worship him. So this is what I wanted to say. That when we worship, the Lord is seeking for you. Is, the Lord is seeking for ye that is worshipping. Do you want to be one of the people the Lord is seeking for? Hey. And you see when the Lord is seeking for you, the Lord does not just come empty handed. The Lord comes with an entrance. You see, even the president of this country, when he's going somewhere, he has an entourage. He has people that go with him. Some are holding his envelopes. Others are holding there's a bag that he always has. I don't know what is usually in that bag. But this is what I want to say. If the president has things, he moves with that when he's touched somebody is giving a speech and says your excellence in this area or in your excellence the president of this country my children have not gone back to school and so I would like you to help me and the, the president allows and tells his PA get me that envelope and gives the person how about the king of kings the lord of lords the creator of the heavens and the earth I said when he comes and is seeking for you he will tell his entrance angel Gabriel bring that package give my worshiper and that's why I tell people never joke in the time of worship because in that time your miracle awaits for us when we are here and we are worshipping there are times when you feel like you have even left this ground and you are at another level <laughs> hallelujah turn to your neighbor and tell them that I want you to get to a level where you worship and you feel that you are in another sphere. Uh, taking Let's reduce the feedback to some feedback. 
Praise the Lord. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Amina. So turn to your neighbor and welcome them no, to right, In Jesus' mighty name. Stand up on your feet. Stand up on your feet, everybody. People. As well as the people here. Move and, if you're on this side, move and greet somebody on this side. And those of you on this side, make sure you greet somebody here. In Jesus' is mighty name. There is a song I love so much. And it says, Praise the Lord. It goes, Aborugando kutula wangu Gatuli no kwa galapo O kwa yesu kwe Hallelujah Go singing that song and greet your neighbor Aga kulu kutilanga Mochile vuchalo Lava yo, lava yo Mochile chirunji Aborugando kutula wangu Gatuli no kwa galopo O kwa yesu kwe atua Uringa mafuta malonji Agumu wendo mochi Aga kulu kutilanga Okay. Praise the Lord. I hope you have said hello to somebody. Now I want to if you are seated beyond that line of that black thing please come and sit in this VIP seat here you are our VIP for to, today no no if you are seated behind this brother here the brother in blue please move and sit in this VIP seat somebody escort, escort that sister to come and sit in this VIP amen okay hallelujah praise the living God you can get in the presence of the Lord hallelujah Amen. tonight is another great day as we celebrate the king of kings praise the living God we are happy that tonight our God is going to do yet great and mighty things in this place if you believe that you say hallelujah Praise the living God. Tonight, I believe you're not going to go back the same. I don't know whether I'm preaching to Ang. Eh? No, no, I don't want to say. I don't know whether I'm preaching to religious people. I don't know whether they are. Turn to your neighbor and ask them, eh? Are you the most religious person? Tap your neighbor and ask him Today you've come a religious person. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Somebody say hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now I know there are no religious people here. Amen. Amen. So today, our God is going to do great and mighty things. And I'm really happy that you who is here, and those of you watching us online, the miracles that the Lord is going to do are for not anyone else, but for you. In Jesus' mighty name. Do we have any visitors? 
us first time visitors here. If you're there, just raise up your hand. Please. We want to welcome you. Oh, somebody welcome. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We have a sister over here. Somebody give them a Zion welcome. Now, I said a Zion welcome. I didn't say your own way of welcoming. Somebody welcome them in a special way. If you have some money with you, you may give them some. Praise Jesus. Somebody welcome them. Sister, we welcome you. Sister, we welcome you. Do we have anybody else? Raise up, raise up your hand. Hey, somebody clap for our brother there. You clap for Jesus. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Amina. We welcome you, brother. Do we have anybody else? We want to welcome you because we love you. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We want to say thank you for coming. Uh, does anyone want to say hello to us? Sister. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the living God. But anyway. All is good before Somebody the clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. We want to thank God for what He's doing in this place. Praise the Lord. And we exalt His name. The visitors who have come today, this is the Zion worship altar. We are called to worship the Lord. Because the Lord revealed to us that one of the reasons why you and I were created is to exalt his name. Praise the living God. And, uh, and if you don't exalt the name of the Lord, then unfortunately, you are not fulfilling one of those things that you are supposed to do in your life. So before I go any further, let me invite my brother John here. Brother John, uh, he's one of the visitors, but he also comes from a ministry that we visited recently. And he's also a great worshiper. So I want Brother T. Bright to bring him. To escort him and bring him. Uh, we, Brother T. Bright is a great friend of ours here. So, welcome him. You know the way he's dressed? The other brother, John, he reminds me about some, uh, there's a rich man sometimes who wanted to buy a club in England. <laughs> I don't know whether some of you know him. Maybe he's the one. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Let him say hello to us. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Free to come here. Praise God. God is good. All the time. Praise God. The goodness of God. The Lord has been good to you. I'm called John Peter Luboa. Planet Bright. I grew up with Tip Bright. I'm so humbled. I'm so pastor to meet Pastor Solomon. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you so much. Your humility strikes me. You're great, but there is a way you contain yourself. Amen. So, um, God called us to worship. And we have a worship ministry called Now Experience. How many were there on Rivers of Joy, on the Rock Rivers of Joy, on last month on Good Friday? Okay, 
So we began that worship experience or Twat worship ministry Twat and it happens every month. And actually, God gave us the very scripture that pastors mentioned, John 4 23. And the now is the now in that scripture. So we believe God has called our generation to worship. We believe you and me are worshippers. We believe if you think you're not a worshipper, we can inspire you to worship. So, the Lord uses people like we to make the wisdom of people count nothing the wisdom of the wise count nothing when the world looks at us we don't look what we are but that happens for the glory for the glorification of God the worship experience of this month this Friday this week we are putting everything in place we are blessed we are working with Alex behind there so we are working so hard to see that God's people are blessed it's happening on scripture in Uganda we are expecting lots of university students this time around because that's where much of the mobilization has been this time so come let's work together Zion worship altar they all belong to the Lord we are doing all to give God a glory let me take this opportunity to thank you for believing in me <laughs> and you give me the opportunity you gave us a big platform we are sorry for whatever did not go well but we may the Lord bless you Amen. Somebody clap for them. Amen. You clap for our visitors. Amen. Amen. Um, yes, so they, they, they have a ministry. It's called the Now Experience. Now Experience. And um, great worshippers. It's a great team. And um, uh, the other time, recent, I won't, it was Good Friday. We were invited to minister Good Friday, at the Rivers of Joy Church. Rivers of Joy Church. And uh, they were hosting us. And uh, our team did an incredible job. And, uh, and we blessed the people and we thank God for that opportunity so thank you so much uh, brother John and, and, and T. Bright together with the pastor in Jesus is mighty name so um, I want us I want us to, 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 to do something before we go into the world um, uh, first of all like I told you on Sunday, next Sunday, we, we, we want to have both our amplifier that we want to buy. So today, we, we, we got uh, some amplifier somewhere. Uh, that we, well, that's why you see our deck is too big today. Because we wanted to use our speakers. Those are the new speakers I told you about the other Sunday. They are the speakers uh, that we are buying another amplifier for. Like I told you the other time, yes, we have one of the one of the amplifiers. But now we are pending only one. By close of day last Sunday, I think we needed a balance of nine hundred and forty. 
So I would like to ask us if somebody has a contribution. Our target is this week. Sunday, we must have that amplifier. Because we, we cannot always be hiring uh, amplifiers. Those are simple things that as children of God, we, we must have. Hallelujah. So I want you if, you, if you have a contribution, please reach out to Sister Linda over there. Uh, she can wave to us to see her. Let's talk to her. And if you've come with anything, please feel free to reach out to her. And the Lord will bless you. In Jesus' mighty name. We only need 940,000. So we'll be able, I know Sunday, we shall have that amplifier. And as we go on, I also want to say a special thank you to Mr. and Mrs. Choyagala. They granted us, they gave us a gift as a ministry. You know, our microphones have always been laid on the ground. So those of you who are able to see here, we, we, we have a, a microphone stand so we, we don't have to lay them on the ground and, and then they get dust so somebody clap for that family clap for in Jesus is mighty name um, so we, yeah, we've got progress there and, and, and now some of you cannot see what I'm talking about because of where you're seated. That's why I told you we need to have big screens here. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's told you that we need to, now it's only me and a few people may be in the middle here who can see what I'm talking about. So I pray for you in the name of Katonda Jesus. May the Lord give you the grace. Go and pass by the shop of LG. And bring for us a screen of 50 inch. The one we place it here. And I pray for you another grace. As we are still working upon that. And the Lord gives you money. We get some little money. And we get a bigger one this time. Praise Jesus. The worshippers, we are like that. <laughs> I tell you, sometimes we sing songs here and people cannot follow because you don't see the words. Praise the Lord. So I want to believe that as we progress in this year, not long from today, we shall have those screens. One here and one there. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Amen. I also want to give glory to the Lord for the testimonies and the good things he's doing in this place. I mean, there's a lady here who just testified that for her she feels that the prayers we pray here I think they only they go straight into her house <laughs> hallelujah somebody called her just last week and gave her a property worth 300 million I, I don't know why other people you're not oh, speaking to you who has may the Lord give you that miracle you to receive a call when it's not a call of giving you bad news it's not a call of asking to a school fees but a call of inviting you give you car keys Praise Jesus. I was so amazed. I said, our God is faithful. Somebody gives you a call and, and gives, gives you a property of 300 million shillings. 
Hallelujah. Amina. Praise the living God. And we also thank God who brought a sister. One of the worshippers here said that their sister came. They've always been at home, not, not wondering where this person goes to worship. I don't know where is that sister. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Can she just, just raise up your hand? And somebody clap for her. Amen. Amina. Thank you for coming. This is where your sister always comes. Not to do anything else but to worship the Lord. Praise the Lord. We want to thank our sister Shivan. She's made a pledge of 10,000 shillings towards the equipment. Somebody give a mighty hand of praise to the Lord. Oyono, Oyono, she's a worshiper and she's a student. May the Lord multiply the school fees. The remaining school fees in the name of Jesus. And we also want to thank one of the people who pledged has fulfilled their pledge and has given us 50,000 shillings. Come on, somebody clap for that person. I don't know who the person is, but we give the glory to the Lord. May the Lord enlarge your territories. May the Lord fill your There is a prayer I, 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 that the Lord has given me these days of praying for people that your... your, your that you're going to have life you're going to have provision like praise Jesus who has ever seen us pray when the water is coming out they do not stop you look for rich source but the next stop it will flow may the Lord bless you this year just like a spring when money seems to be to have been done from you, and you get another sum of money. Praise Jesus. He who has understood this you clap for the Lord. May the Lord fulfill it in your life this year. As you give to the Lord, may the Lord fulfill it in Jesus' is mighty name. Immaculate has also pledged 20,000 shillings. Somebody clap for Immaculate. Amen. Amen. Praise the living God. Our God is faithful. I know that this, this, this week we have no option but to get the amplified. Hallelujah. As the Lord provides for you during this week, Sister Linda, come over here and give us a contact because these people are going to send money this week. Please hurry up. I give you just a few seconds to share with the number that the Lord will bless you as you contribute. This week, please make sure that you stand with us. Please go ahead. Praise the Lord, brother Rins. I want to thank all those who have given us money. And even right now, as I've been coming, Sister Pastor. Patricia, not to work cash. Amen. Somebody cash for Patricia. Hallelujah. Amen. I represent in the ushers. She has yes. represented the ushers. That lady seated there, the ushering Thank desk. Thank you. May the Lord bless you. Whatever the Lord bless you with, you may send it on MTN number. It is zero seven seven two. Not to Musanvu Biri. Forty five. Anamutano. Eighty one. Chinana Muemu. Sixty eight. Kagamu Munana. Under the names of Angela Musime. Whatever the Lord convicts you with. And I believe the Lord will humbly bless you. Or you can call me. I believe the Lord will bless you. Amen. 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 Thank you. So this week, let's make it happen. 
Praise the Lord. Just stand up on your feet for a few minutes. As we go into the word. We're going to share the word for a few minutes. You shall leave this place. Um, but as before we go into that, I want you to say some words of exaltation to the Lord. Father, we worship you tonight. We are praying and coming before you that as we hear the word today, may the word be, be, be engraved into our hearts, Lord. May your power and your spirit continue to strengthen it in our lives. That it will grow as a seed. That it will expand in our hearts and do a great work in us. In Jesus is mighty. Amen. Somebody clap for Jesus. You can get seated. The Lord has been teaching us in these days about the peace, the, the, a, 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 a word called purpose. Every Sunday, many of you have been attending Sunday. We have been talking about purpose and talking about how that is important in your life, especially this year, as you rise above. Those of you that visit us, you are visiting us for the first time. As the Zion worship altar, the Lord gave us a word of rising above. That this year, we are rising above. For me, our sister's testimony of getting a, a call that is giving her 300 million worth property is evidence that we are rising above. Come on, somebody. I know that this year the Lord cannot bring his word and goes back in vain. He's raising you above whether you want it or not. And in the different Sundays the Lord has been teaching us about the word purpose and the different things that we need to do if we are to live a purpose life or if we are to achieve our purposes. I don't know whether you have a purpose right now. Or you have a purpose. Something you're believing God for. Something that you want the Lord to do for you this year. Somebody that you're believing for by the end of this year. Whatever you're believing God for that is your purpose. That is the intention you have. That is the desire that you have. So this Sunday, we are concluding on those series. And today when I was asking the Lord to give me what to speak to you, the Lord continued to give me a revelation of more secrets more secrets that you need to know if that purpose is to be fulfilled or if you are to fulfill that purpose Turn to your neighbor and tell them. Tell them, neighbor, are you ready to learn the new secrets? Ask them one more time. Say, neighbor, are you ready to learn the new secrets? Okay, I think they are ready. One of the secrets tonight, out of the three I'm going to share, is a secret called focus. 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 
Praise the Lord. As a child of God, if you're to achieve that purpose, if you're to get to that intention, even in ministry, even as you do your role in ministry, you want to get from one level to another level, you want to be a worshiper that moves from one level to another level, you need to focus. Child of God, one of the things that has denied you not getting to your destination is because you lack focus. You are going to Masaka along the way, you find somebody saying, Oh, I'm actually going to Mbali. Hey, what is in Mbali? What you have a people who are singing. Let me go to Mbari. Hallelujah. Amen. Without a focus, you cannot have a very clear destiny. And without a focus, you cannot have the energy and the power to get to your purpose. When I was meditating upon this word, it reminded me something. Some people, we are running businesses. Today, you're running a business of grasshoppers. And it is going well. But then tomorrow, you are in town, you hear somebody saying, that These days it is chuckle. Then you change and start selling chuckle. <laughs> Hallelujah. Then three months down the road, you look at a friend, they are running a restaurant, then you think that they are making millions. Then before you know it, it's a restaurant. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amina. Tell yourself, focus. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs, chapter, tw chapter 4, verses 25, it, it, talks, it, it emphasizes the power of focus. Child of God, when you focus, the Lord will bless you. The Lord will get the achievement and will give you the achievement only when you focus. When you, when you read about Peter, when he was he was walking on the water, once he lost focus on Jesus, he started drowning. Somebody as a child of God, focus is very important. This year, whatever you believe in God for, focus on that and work towards that. I want to tell you, focus will direct you into things it will get you to do number one when you focus it will direct your actions do you know why right now as you're working to buy that plot you, you have five million shillings maybe. but along the way somebody tells you how can you buy Land. When will you, need, you need 10 million to buy that land. And then you will need money to go and build. Why don't you first get that money and put it in this way? Hallelujah. Amen. You're losing focus. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs chapter 4, verse 25, that let your eyes look straight ahead. When the Bible talks about letting your eyes, our eyes usually show us the direction. And the Bible goes on to say, let the eyes look straight ahead meaning that do not look 
to in the sides. To to kumabari, but focus. Child of God. Child of God. Tonight, those who are going to reach their destiny, those who are going to reach their destination, those who are going to achieve their intention, are those who are going to focus. Ministers of God here, I want to beseech you that when you focus, the Lord will get you there. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the living God. Tap your neighbor and slap them a little bit. Tell them, I see you've been looking in different directions. Tell them, Mugambi. I see you've been looking in different directions. Now slap them and tell them. I said slap them and tell them. Look straight ahead. Hallelujah. Achievement is only for those people who are looking straight ahead. No matter what the winds are, what winds are bringing, because the waves will come, the turbulence will come, the challenges will come. But I want to tell you, when you look straight ahead, when you focus on where you're going, the angels will come and join you and will walk with you and get you with your, to your destination. The angels will not walk with that person who is taking them this way and taking them that way and then taking them this way. No. But they will walk and direct he who is going straight. Let me tell you something that the Spirit of the Lord revealed to me this morning. That when you have a focus, your prayer is also directed. If you have no focus, today you will be praying for this. Tomorrow you'll be praying for another. And tomorrow you'll be praying for the other. And now the heavens will also be confused. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The heavens will be disturbed. You will, you, you know, oh my local if it's about. But who will you know, born again, we pray when people are hearing. You us. are praying and walking around. Then you hear a brother praying no, for a car. Then you also, oh, no, 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 I'd forgotten oh. a car. I need a car. My God, my oh, father. May you give me that Mercedes Benz. Benz. Oh, 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 then you reach somebody else. No, they are praying for a house. And then you are like, I have rented for many years. Oh my God, my loving father. I asked you to give me a house. A house of five yeah. rooms. No, it's a conoris a savaya chica. And you pass by. Jagalanga ya kalina. I run a flat. The name ya little kumi nevi. Praise the Lord. Without focus. The angels are disorganized. But yet you need the angels to walk with you. I said you need the spirit to walk with you. This year, the spirit will walk with you. Only if you have a focus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The second secret I want to share is also very simple. Believe in yourself. Hallelujah. You are filled with the spirit of the Holy Ghost. I said you are filled with the power of the Lord. And you are a born again. You have believed he who is the creator of the heavens and the earth. I said you have believed he who moves the mountains. I said you have have believed 
He who created the heavens and the earth. Your creator. Your God. Your king of kings. Is there anything too hard in for him? So if there's nothing praise the Lord then you need to believe that in you he has put everything he has put the possibility he has put the power for you to make it happen he is not going to use the other person it is you that he is going to walk with I said to your destiny go now the enemy is very smart one of the things that he will first take away from you is for you to stop believing in yourself and tell yourself now tell yourself right now when I stop believing in myself it's the beginning of my failure when you start not believing in yourself and so failure will set in and so there you will fail <laughs> hallelujah Amen. you need to believe in yourself my brother one time I, I shared that someone here of us knowing the God we believe and I told you that once you understand understand the God you believe you will know the power that you have once you understand that he who resurrected from the dead and was glorified is the one you believe and that you are glorified with them and so your success will start from there I want to tell you, as a worshiper, as a child of God, as a king, as oh. I don't, I don't know what to say but as a saint of God I want to tell you from today one of the things that's going to get your miracles closer is believing in yourself do you know when you don't believe in yourself think about it you've got a big office you are, a, a, you are a big person they put you in that office and yes you have qualified to be there what is going to get you out of that office is not believing in yourself have you ever been in a position without you believing that you are in that position and you don't dress up that faith that that's the position where you have to be little by little you are going down I want us to read a scripture in the book of Ecclesiastes 9.10 there is something very interesting here that I want to share with you the Bible says whatever your hand finds to do do it with all your mind. Praise the Lord. For in the realm of the dead where you are going there is neither working no planning no knowledge no wisdom. Now, you cannot lay your hands on doing something and do it with your might if you don't believe in yourself. This is a command that the Bible has given us coming from the word of the Lord that whatever you do and you find your hands fine to do do it not just doing it but with all your mind. The one thing that's going to help you do something with your mind is when you believe in yourself. 
ministers of God here, the one thing that's going to get you from one level to another is believing in yourself. That way, that will direct your path. That will direct your actions. That will direct that which you want to do. And eventually, you will be achieving your purpose. Finally, as we wind up, I want to share with you a key and important principle or secret as we wind up. And this is what it is. It says, do the principles or the instructions that God has given us in his word. Hallelujah. Amina. Hallelujah. Amina. Sometimes we are looking at doing something. Sometimes we are looking at getting to destiny. And forget the instructions of the law. But the Bible is full of instructions. In the book of Malachi 3, verses 10, there is a very important instruction. And this instruction is critical for yourselves that our purpose for this year is to increase those incomes. But you're asking yourself why doesn't it decrease? There are instructions that you need to follow that will get you there. As a child of God and those of you watching us online be keen on the instructions that the Lord is giving you. Praise the Lord. When you follow the instructions, as you, as, as you work towards that purpose, as you work towards what you, you're believing God for this year, what instructions is the Lord giving you along the way? What is the Lord that is speaking to you? Are you obeying? Are you taking it as, a, as an important thing? Somebody turn to your neighbor. Tell them, if you're to get to that purpose, you need to obey the instructions. The Bible says in the book of Malachi, chapter 3 verses 10 that bring the whole tithe into the storehouse it's an instruction it's the scriptures bring the whole tithe not just the tithe but the whole tithe into the storehouse that there may be food in my house. Now listen what the Bible says in the next line. And be very careful as you listen to this. The Bible says, test me in this, says the Almighty God. And see if I will not throw the open uh, throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that there will not be room enough to store it. So when the instruction here when you give and so test me and you see if which means that by all means the Lord has said this and he is ready to do it and that is why he said in his word that test me that try me and see if I will not <laughs> Praise the Lord. There are not many verses in the Bible that ask us to test the Lord. But this is one of them. Somebody stand up on your feet. This year, the Lord is going to work with you to get to your destiny.
to achieve that which you're believing him for. But I want to beseech you to be keen on these principles. Our God does not bring a word for nothing. This is what I believe. That your life by December this year will be completely different. Hallelujah. Amen. This year, I said this year, you will be a different person. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, look at me carefully. Next year when you see me, and you see me differently, don't think you're seeing another person. Tell them, Tell your neighbor, you know, tell your neighbor when you post it. Tell your neighbor. Tell them next year. When you see me, and you see me different, don't think you're seeing a different person. You will be seeing me. Praise the Lord. Amen. This gentleman here is an aspiring MP. Praise the Lord. This year, things are going to be different. I said they are going to be different in your life, and people will marvel. People will not believe that you are the Susan, you are the, 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 the Sarah, you are the person that they knew. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody just raise your hands to the Lord. And just do a simple prayer as the Lord leads you. Father, in Jesus' mighty name. I come before you this evening. I want to thank you for the word that you've given unto us. We have obeyed and talked about the word purpose. And we have shared so many secrets from your heavenly kingdom. Father, I pray that it will be your will to fulfill every purpose of these people here. That your fulfillment will just happen. That your fulfillment will happen over your saints. Not next year, but this year. Somebody raise your hands to the Lord. Raise, raise your hands. And, and, and just take this one minute to pray to the Lord. Speak to the Lord about that which you're intending to see, to, to, to see this year. Speak to the Lord. Speak to the Lord. Speak to the Lord. Just pray. Others you're praying for your family. Others you're praying for your education. Just pray. Just Speak, just speak to the Lord. Others, you're praying for your work. Others, you're praying for your children. Just go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead and go ahead. Come on, lift it up, lift it up. Just go ahead, go ahead. As the Spirit leads you, somebody may be to your business. You're praying for increment. You're believing God for an increase. You're believing God for an expansion. You're believing God for another level. Somebody go ahead. Just, just speak to the Lord. Our God is a faithful God. Our Lord is faithful. Our God is faithful. He is more than able to make it happen. He says there's nothing too hard for him. Pray that you will give the strength. The strength to overcome. 
the strength to achieve the strength to get to that next level the power to get you through that situation and those of you online our God is more than able he has greater power he is able to do so much I have seen him do great man mighty miracles he's ready to do that for you as well in Jesus is mighty name in Jesus is mighty name now go ahead and thank the Lord go ahead and say thank you Jesus 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 Mueva zore sale yo yo sabie Mueva zore takelo yo mu sabie Mueva zoro bu gabiri zobo bo mu sabie Mueva ze mueva zore yo yo kirizo kukolera Agamba mu chigambo che timuje mu sabe atenda mu kirizanti sobolo kuchikola Wakati no kweba za we chicho chinaba beranga ko Mukama abantu bonga bakirizeranga bakweba za Le kavyo na biwa sabit de biwa beko. Mu Kristo Yesu mukama wafume tu sabit denga tu kiliza. Amina, amina. Tu kubire mukama mungale zaman. Okay. Mweba de nyonge kujia. Kanvalo mukisa guno kusaba yomu tu yenango ya galoku tuwa la mukama wafengo mlokozi wobula mubo. Mweba de toya tulanga. Mubado tambuli la mchibi Mubado tambuli la mbelezi tari nunji Nengo ya galo kwetu alidono mkama wafatu Kili zevi gendele ruavi ya fe Nanyini magenda gafe Mubanga wali wano wakateka no kako Mubanga te wali nzikili zanga Wali yomu ntwe ya tuuli la kumuzindalo Mubanga galo kwetu alidamu kama fengo mloko zubu la mubo Damwe sareno Gama nti ai mkama Kweba za Kubango nkumi o kufamu buto Pako luna kuruno warelo Shire Elinyari ange Nisangu lo kufamu chitabo chaba ono nyeraba fu Oliwandi ke mchitabe chaba lamu Nekuru na kuruli Okomye woku shalom shango Sito yesu mukama ufwe metusavide Amina Sisande o kufamu sawa kumi Baba omu kisatu Sabe vigambe vye chisa E chisa cha mukama ufwe yesu kristo no kwa gala kwa aika tonda No kusechi mokomo ya mtu kufu Bidirena fi Hallelujah